pastor Dwight Radcliffe of the Message Center Church, is reaching a generation for Christ by sharing the gospel of Christ while engaging hip hop and the hip hop generation. Jesus is the focus, salvation is the goal. Um, God has called us very specifically um, to reach people that have been hurt, wounded, or injured by either being in church or by people that were in the church. We found that many of the people that we came to, that we come into contact with when we were doing evangelism, were not people that had never heard the gospel message per se, but they were people that had heard the gospel, that had knew, they knew who Jesus was. They were either in church as kids or their parents were in church, but because of the actions of people in church or because of the things that they had seen in church behind closed doors or what have you, they just got turned off by the entire church experience. So we have and a large population of people who are just coming into church or people who have said, I I'll never go to church again. It, it, it came with the attire, it came with the, the atmosphere. We made sure that our greeters were loving on people. We came out of a church, my wife and I came out of churches where if a young lady came in and her skirt was too short, they were meeting her at the door with a robe or with a sheet to wrap around her. If a guy walked in with a hat on or earrings in or his pants were sagging, they hit him at the door, take your hat off, pull your pants up. And we've just really uh, indoctrinated uh, our leaders and our workers to know that we don't do that. We let people come in as they are. We try to make sure that we're extremely relevant in the delivery and uh, the method that we use to preach the Word of God. So in the month of December, we did an entire month series on hip hop. We entitled it Tupacalypse Now, uh, the cry of a generation over the sound of the organ. Uh, we engaged uh, a lot of Tupac lyrics or, or song titles as far as message titles. We went away from the traditional titles and we used those titles to bring out theological concepts in, in scripture, but we made them completely relevant for open enough and, and, and open enough and bold enough to critique both hip hop and the church. Yeah. And so when you look at the life and the ministry of Jesus, you see someone who was not afraid to get in the trenches, to be involved with the people that, that others, that religious, uh, the upper echelons of religious structures of the day had condemned, had kind of kicked to the curb, had, had kicked to the side. Jesus was not afraid to get in the trenches with them, to deal with them, to minister to them. And I think that hip hop is unafraid of religious structures. It's unafraid of, of being an outcast. It will boldly and brazenly say what needs to be said. And often it is the voice and the cry of those that are marginalized, those that have no voice. And so I think the church would do good to hear that cry. That so I think that uh, the church needs to hear the cry that hip hop has because it's a raw cry. It's a, it's a street cry. It's a, it's a cry of the marginalized. Do we hear the cry? Are we responding? Will we let the church be the church? This is Dr. Watkins asking you to join us on this journey as we attempt to be faithful to the call of Christ and let the church be the church.